Hi, my amazing artist. Thanks for joining us today for another read aloud. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a story that reviews one of our very first elements of art that we learn about when we come to art class. If I mention the name of one of our friends, Larry, I bet that will help you remember what element Ms. Dees is talking about. Let's see, let's think for a second. What is our first element of art? Whisper it to me right now. If you guys said line, you are correct. We're going to be reviewing all of our different Larry lines today with our story. And remember, we learn about our Larry lines with our poem, which you can see down below in a different video, okay? Our story is called Lines That Wiggle, and it's written by an artist named Candace Whitman and illustrated by a guy named Steve Wilson. As we read this story today, I want you to think about all your Larry lines and maybe some of the lines that you see inside the book will inspire you to go and create your own artwork using your different lines, okay? Before I start reading, I do have to give another quick shout out to our publishing company, Scholastic. Thank you so much, Scholastic, for making it possible for us to share read alouds like this. All right, let's get started. Lines that wiggle. Lines that wiggle and lines that bend. Wavy lines from end to end. Lines that tickle and lines that sprout. Bugs have lines that stick right out. Lines to trap. Lines to hide. Two lines running side by side. Lines that curve and lines that curl. Underwater lines that swirl. Lines that crisscross and lines that mend. Lines with doggies at the end. Lines that scurry and lines in threes. Lines in leaves that grow on trees. Lines that twist and lines that sway. Lines that Swirl the flies away. Lines to light up the sky. Rainbow lines that are way up high. Lines are everywhere you look. Find some lines here in this book. Let's take a really close look. Do you see any straight lines? Do you see any zigzag lines? Do you see any weighty lines? Do you see any spirals? Point them out to a friend right now. the end. So friends, I hope you really enjoyed our story and that this book helped you remember some of your Larry lines that we like to use in art class. Remember, our lines are super, super important because when we can make lines, we then can connect them to make different shapes. So I hope you have a great day, artist. I'll see you later. Bye.